custom ARs are all the rage today, and who can blame you for wanting one since ARs are the must-have fashion accessory in the firearm world? When it comes to airsoft though, it can get a little tricky, since getting a custom AR isn't as simple as swapping out a lower or an upper for whatever else you have in mind. But today, we find ourselves looking at a shark in the water, and we're gonna see if this shark is all show and no bite. Hi guys, today we're going to be delving into the EMG Hellbreaker. The Hellbreaker is a project headed up by our friends over at EMG, licensed by Sharps Brothers, and it's got a very cool shark design right here on the magwell that's inspired by the P40 Warhawk. Now in terms of the looks department, this gun's got it in spades, but let's see if this gun lives up to its pretty face, starting with the externals. The gun comes in this very cool dark earth color, but it also comes in black if you so choose. The muzzle device is screwed onto this 280mm outer barrel, which houses a 270mm inner barrel. The diameter for the outer barrel is 14mm, and the threads are clockwise for the muzzle device. Now this is a CQB version of the gun, but there is a long one out there as well. The handguard itself is a CNC ultra slim key mod rail that takes all of your standard key mod attachments. Up front is a flip up front sight. Towards the middle portion of the gun is a relatively standard upper receiver with a very cool lower receiver, featuring this really nice shark face right on the magwell inspired by the P40 Warhawk. The magwell itself is slightly flared to facilitate easier reloads. It has a flat face trigger and a large release for your magazines. Now this gun only has controls on one side, so Sadly, it's not ambidextrous. The gun does feature a very familiar pistol grip, though I'm not too big of a fan of some of the angling work that they've done on it. Gripping it does feel a little off, but that's just my personal opinion. Towards the rear is the charging handle. That is functional. By pulling it back, you expose the hop-up unit. You can rotate up or down for more or less hop. You can send the bolt back forward by using the bolt release right here. From there, we move to the flip-up rear sight. Now, just like the front sight, they're really small, and you can hardly see through them. So I'm putting an optic on this gun without a doubt. The stock is also very familiar, and adjusting it is very easy. You pull down on this tab here, and expose the battery connectors. And it takes small Tamiya-type batteries. The gun also comes with one QB attachment that is not the easiest to remove. For the final feature of this gun, it has a programmable EFCS, which is an electronic firing control system that enables you to program your gun to four different settings. Safety, of course, three-round burst, semi, and full auto. The system also allows for a pretty good trigger response, and we will try that in a little bit. The gun comes with this 300 round mid cap magazine. And here is my final gripe. This magazine with this gun looks kind of cheap. I really wish they would have just came out with a FDE mid cap magazine for it. At least it wouldn't look like an eyesore. The gun, well, feels like any other M4. The controls are exactly where I'd expect them to be. It is a shame that it is not ambidextrous. It is surprisingly light and very maneuverable. The selector feels very good and snaps into place pretty solid and gets a very audible click. Trigger response? Not bad. Let's go chrono the gun. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and a 7.4 volt light bulb battery. And the gun shoots at an average of 413 FPS. If the gun shoots a little hot for your country, don't worry. I'm pretty sure EMG would make a gun ready for your country's legal fire limits. So here we are at a warehouse. I'm standing 25 meters away from our target down range, and I'm about to test fire the Hellbreaker. To help me today is the Holosun HS503BU Circle Dot Sight. This is my personal one. Let's go. The trigger response is pretty good for an AEG and the flat face trigger with the hook on the bottom, pretty comfortable on your finger.
let's take a look at those results. Everything pretty much hits center mass. I would expect no less from an AEG performing at 25 meters away. If you guys like cool looking M4s, click right here on the screen for the review I did for the Sailing Arms International Grey Training Rifle by EMG. Probably the best looking AEG you can get your hands on. The Hellbreaker is a lightweight snappy gun that performs rather well. While there are things I can't say are good for the gun, like the stock iron sights and how the grip feels, those things don't really take away from how cool the gun actually looks. Except for the magazine, of course, because a cool gun like this makes no sense to come with a plain Jane looking magazine. But if what you're looking for is lightweight, fair performance, and a bit of flair, I wouldn't mind giving this one a look over. So for cool guns like this and many more, don't forget to check out our online store at www.redwolfairsoft.com. My name is Mark, aka Blue Steel, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one, guys.